In this tutorial, we learn how to write a whole number as a product of its prime factors. And we're going to do so by working through a couple of examples. The first is shown here. We need to write 36 as a product of its prime factors. When doing this, a good starting point really is to write the first few prime numbers. So I'll just do that at the top. The first few prime numbers would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Now, to write 36 as a product of its prime factors, here's how we can do it. We start by writing 36, like so, and to the left-hand side of 36, we draw a vertical line, like this. The idea here, really, is to make a two-column table. Now that that's done, I look for the smallest prime number in this list, which is a factor of 36. And it doesn't take us too long to see that 2 is a factor of 36. So I write 2 in the left-hand column. Now I divide 36 by 2, and 36 divided by 2 is 18, and I write that 18 directly below the 36. I now do the same thing again, but I start with 18. In other words, I look for the smallest factor of 18 in this list. The smallest factor is again 2. So I write 2 to the left of 18, and I divide 18 by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9, which I write below the 18. I carry on this way. I look for the smallest factor of 9 that I see in this list of prime numbers. And the smallest factor in this case is 3. So I write 3 to the left of 9, and I now divide 9 by 3, which is 3. I carry on. The smallest factor of 3 that I can see in this list is itself. In other words, it's 3. So I write 3 to the left of 3, and now 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, which I write directly below the 3. And once we've reached 1, we stop. Now that we've done that, we're in a position to write 36 as a product of its prime factors. The key is to look at this left-hand column here. The numbers here are telling us that 36 equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And since 2 times 2 is 2 to the power of 2, and 3 times 3 is 3 to the power of 2, we can state that 36 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2. And we're done. We've just written 36 as a product of its prime factors. Let's look at one more example. Say we have to write 180 as a product of its prime factors. Well, again, we can start by writing the first few prime numbers. Remember those were 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. And now I make my table like so. I write 180 on the right-hand side, and I draw a vertical line here. Done. I now look for the smallest prime number in this list, which is a factor of 180. And it doesn't take us long to see that the smallest factor is 2. So I write 2 in the left-hand column, and I divide 180 by 2, which is 90. So I write 90 below the 180. I now carry on starting from 90. The smallest factor of 90 that we can see in this list is 2 again. So I write 2 in the left-hand column, and I divide 90 by 2. 90 divided by 2 is 45. I now look for the smallest factor of 45 that I can find in this list, and in this case it's going to be 3. So I write 3 in the left-hand column, and 45 divided by 3 is 15. I carry on this way. The smallest factor of 15 that I can see in this list is again 3. So I write 3 in the left-hand column, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Finally, I look for the smallest factor of 5 that I can see in this list, and we see that it's itself. That is 5. And now I divide 5 by 5, which equals to 1. And that's my stopping point. Now, focusing on the left-hand column, we can see that 180 equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So we have 2 2, so that's 2 to the power of 2. We also have 2 3, so we have 3 to the power of 2. And we have 1 5, so that would be 5 to the power of 1, but we simply write 5. So this left-hand column allows us to write that 180 equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. And we're done. We've just written 180 as a product of its prime factors. And so that's the method for writing any whole number as a product of its prime factors. And that's it for this tutorial.